What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. I am stoked for the knife that we got today. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the top down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Devo knife over here. This is uh, something that we've all been waiting for. It is pretty epic. I've already opened it up, looked at it a little bit, but uh, I wanted to give you the full array of everything that it comes with. Before we get too far into this, I want to go ahead and say thank you to anybody who's already liked and subscribed. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also head over to Instagram and follow us at WorkNotBalance939. That's a great way to communicate with us and let us know what you want to see. You don't want to see all that good stuff. So with this knife, you get uh, some Devo stickers, some Lefty stickers, and you get a nice little coaster to go with this knife. That's kind of cool. And then you're going to get a cloth. It's going to be either red, white, or blue. These are fairly large cloths as well cleaning cloths they're nice they're a really good kind of microfiber cloth i really like the diva cloths but you don't care about the stickers of the cloth probably you're really looking for this beauty right here so let's go ahead and open this up this is the devo pony stout but not the g10 version that's right drop in today we have the premium titanium version uh, titanium and S90V, we will say. So this is the premium Devo Pony Stout. And man, oh man, is this thing amazing. So I love my Pony Stout. I love my Stout and my Stout V2. And this is just that much better, I guess, because the size, it, I mean, this thing is epic. This is pretty sweet. So I got this and carried this today. These drop today on White Mountain Knives at noon. So by the time you're seeing this, I believe they will have dropped on White Mountain Knives. Hopefully you were able to pick one up for yourself if they're gone. If they're not, go get one. These things are amazing. This is a titanium and S90V knife. This is the dark wash or black wash titanium I picked up for myself. And this thing is just fire. So we'll go ahead and do some measurements real quick and then we'll do a side by side comparison. Measurements tip to tail, we are looking at about six and a half inches right there. Let's go ahead and get that straightened out. Measurements, we're looking about six and a half inches right there. On the blade length, we are looking just under three, we'll say 2.75 with a cutting edge of 2.75. The way they did this, and they designed that kind of little choil right there, that choke up trail, you can get right in there and it doesn't mess with any of the cutting edge, so that's pretty cool. We'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons. This is the Pony Stout that we got there. We'll put the original Pony Stout up top. This is the G10 version of the Pony Stout. We'll go ahead and put the original Stout down below so you can kind of see the size difference. And then we will go ahead and just below that, do the Stout V2. So you got the entire Stout family right here. Kind of taking a look at the different selections in the Devo Stout family. I will say that they all have their own feel, fit, and kind of nice things about them, but this Pony Stout Premium version is absolutely epic. This thing has uh, some stuff that just kind of stands out amongst all the others, the size, the fit, the finish, everything like that. We'll do some other side-by-side -side comparisons. We'll go ahead and do the tactile golf wall right there, and then we'll go ahead and do a... Ontario Rat 2 down below as well, giving you some side-by-side -side comparisons with some more compact knives, I would say, some smaller knives. We'll do the Civivi Button Lock Elementum. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and do a, what do we got here? What do we got here? Kaiser Veritas. All right. That gives you some good side-by-side -side comparisons. Quite a few knives and the entire Stout family to look at as well, so that's something for you. But some of the premium additions that they add, that some of the premium things that they added to this knife right here. You can see the jimping on the backside. The original premium or the original Pony Stout did not have that jimping on the backside. The original Stout didn't have that jimping on the backside either. They did add it to the Stout V2. And I really like it. That's one thing that with both the V2 and the Premium, I really like as well. With this being the um, inset liner lock versus the frame lock, they added a really good lock bar access. And then you can see they actually have kind of a fluted or jimped access on that as well, which is just really nice. It gives you just a little bit more. It is a crowned jimping or a rounded jimping like that. So there's nothing to really pinch 
or uh, give you any hot spots. It's not sharp on the top or anything. It feels fantastic. And look at that action. This thing is super snappy and then drops right down to the thumb. Like I said, I've had this for a day. That's it. I've had it for one day. I used it quite a bit today, honestly. And uh, the action is still amazing. I absolutely love this thing. I really like the black wash that they did on this too. It is a really nice black wash. I was a little concerned that the clip, not concerned, but I was, I was, I was wondering if the clip would scratch up this backside. It was in and out of the pocket a couple times today, and you can see there's really no snail trails on there as of yet. It probably will get some, and I fully expect that. But uh, it doesn't, it doesn't ding up. It doesn't scratch quite as easily as I thought it would. So that was a that was a plus there. You do have the reversible wire clip. You can put it from one side to the other. I'm probably gonna order myself a Lynch clip to put in here because I do know uh, these Devos do accept the Lynch clips there. So that's one thing I will probably get to put on mine. I like that they removed the Devo logo on the pivot and it's just a blank pivot. And then the uh, milling that they added in that kind of like bolster pattern, so it's just on that top half, I think looks really nice. and just adds a little bit of aesthetics uh, that just kind of stands out. You have the traditional stout look to the blade. You've got the nice swedge at the top. You've got the Raptor nose coming over, and then you've got the big bird eye in here. So there's it. You look at it, you can tell this is definitely in the stout family. You don't need to know it's the pony stout. It, it tells you it's the pony stout just from looking at it. Ergo's on this. Pretty fantastic. Would, would expect nothing less because the Pony Stout had really good ergos as well. Just a couple nice things about this. You have a really nice backspacer on this one as well in the premium edition with that titanium backspacer in there. You do have just a couple pieces of hardware over here and then locked in on the backside there. No place to put a lanyard, but that's okay because I'm not a lanyard person myself. Other than all of those fun things, it is just a really good knife. Super slicey, super fun to hang, to carry, and uh, kind of a perfect size for anywhere that needs a sub three inch blade or a sub three and a half inch blade. It's gonna be a little small for a sub three and a half, but you can get definitely the sub three inch blade and uh, have a really fantastic knife to carry there. So not much else left to say about this. I will go ahead and post a link in the description down below. So check down there for a link to White Mountain Knives. I don't have a code, but I'm sure a couple other channels do and you probably know one. Feel free to use a code, it probably works. Save yourself a little bit on shipping and handling and maybe get a little bit of a discount as well. But White Mountain Knives, pick them up before they're gone. One last thing, these were OEM to manufactured by QSP. So QSP's put some pretty amazing things out there over the years. We've got one of their penguins right here. I really love what QSP does and they always have a really fantastic knife. So this just kind of continues to hold that name and that language of the really good fit and finish that QSP did on this thing right here. Yeah. Another fantastic knife from Devo. Their collection and their offering just continues to grow. So. Go ahead and pick one up before they are gone. Once again, White Mountain Knives, Devo Pony Stout, link below. Until next time, TTFN.